the first instance, this is an example of a candidate experience. As I say, this is completely customizable by you. You can make this look broadly however you like. You can customize the typography, the logos, the colors, all of the content. We have a nice drag and drop interface you can use to do that. You can have multiple pages. The whole thing is multilingual and you can really kind of make this look and feel as I say, however you want. We want this to feel like a consistent experience with the rest of your online brand and web properties rather than this sort of very jarring kind of standard pinpoint experience just with your logo chucked at the top. So again, you can do whatever you kind of want with this experience. If I jump into a job, just to give you an example of what this looks like from the candidate's perspective, right? So they come in, they can have a look at this example job description. We care a lot about putting rich media and other kind of typical content like that in your job descriptions. I think we process about 40,000 candidates a day. We've learned a lot from what candidates are expecting in today's recruitment market. Obviously, the candidate wields all the power and we try and leverage some of our data and best practice insights to help you deliver a candidate experience that really converts. So in this example, we've kind of got high level knowledge and skills and experience, a bit about the company and things like that. I think the two things that candidates tell us time and time again, they want to see from a job application process that they don't see is these two things, right? This notion of a hiring manager profile and an overview of what the process looks like. So if we dig into these as an example, uh, this is me and this is my example hiring manager profile. A candidate can learn what I do at the company and why I'm here and a bit more about me personally and my advice. They can see other jobs I'm currently recruiting for, connect with me and so on and so forth. Obviously, not every organization wants to surface this stuff. Some people will have it be the hiring manager, some the recruiter, some just a figurehead within the business that's got a strong profile. The point really is we just want to put faces to names and make it easy for your candidates to engage. I think the second point is this overview of the hiring process itself, right? Candidates want to dig in and understand a bit more about what's expected of them through the process, how long it's going to take, what those disparate stages look like, uh, and so on and so forth, right? The theme here is we're just trying to preemptively answer candidates' questions. I think our data shows that combining these two things at the job application stage increases conversion rates by about 60% on page. So it makes a huge, huge, huge difference. And candidates tell us time and time again, they love seeing this stuff. Once the candidates kind of engage with this content and decided that they wanted to apply for the job, they click apply now, they get to this form. This again is completely customizable by you. Super easy to make this sort of reflect the information you want to gather from the candidate. And important to note that this can be different for every one of your roles, although obviously it's templated for convenience. In this example, we have kind of high level contact information, CV and cover letter equivalent, and then a bunch of what we call pre-screening questions. So again, you can then filter within the product based on answers to these questions to make it really easy to get straight to the candidates that are a fit for the opportunity. We also care a great deal here at Pinpoint about diversity and inclusion. And so we have a lot of optional tooling throughout the product that I'll touch on today to, to support that. One example is these optional DNI questionnaires. So you can include these or not on each of your jobs. If you do include them, they're always optional for your candidates. And if I came in as a candidate, for example, and I said I'm a male and I'm 25 to 34, we'd store this data in aggregate behind the scenes and then allow you to report on it so you can identify trends and themes. But you would click on Tom, the candidate, and see that he's a man and that he's 25 to 34 or sort of any of these other protected characteristics because we don't want to introduce unconscious bias into the process. So a really helpful way of helping you understand from a DNI perspective, whether sourcing is your challenge, I, are you able to attract a diverse pool of applicants, or whether bias is your challenge, I, you are attracting a diverse pool of candidates, but you may be not hiring a diverse pool of people at the point of selection. So that's DNI. Obviously, we're based here in the UK, so we're fully GDPR compliant. We have a whole suite of tools again in support of that, and we'll touch on those as we go. But fundamentally, that is that. I think that the, the key themes here again are speed is of the essence right a lot of the data that we have tells us that if you ask your candidates to sign up for an account before they apply for your job just under 70 percent of them won't do so and you'll lose those before you've even started and if your application process takes more than five minutes from start to finish again you're going to lose about 10 percent of your candidates every minute on average it takes just under three minutes for a candidate to apply for a role with pinpoint and again important to note you'll see this apply with linkedin button here we have a whole bunch of integrations with third-party platforms like linkedin indeed glassdoor monster total jobs and so on allowing candidates to one click apply directly from those platforms and have their data pushed into pinpoint so they don't even need to leave indeed when applying for mass jobs and so on and so forth so all of these things really compound and the idea here is we're just trying to make sure that the candidate experience reflects your brand is easy to engage with and just gets out of the way so that the candidate doesn't sort of stop midway through the process Thank <laughs> you.